They often say you have to speculate to accumulate. Well, modern processors speculate a bit too much. What's your minimum specification? This video is sponsored by me, Tech Tech Potato. If you like what you see, consider donating to our Patreon at patreon.com slash tech tech potato. Really helps out the channel. So over the last couple of years, uh, Spectre and Meltdown have been in the news as security vulnerabilities for modern CPUs. Uh, Meltdown affects Intel CPUs, whereas Spectre is affecting all CPUs, whether they're Intel, AMD, ARM, what have you. A lot of the ways in which uh, these vulnerabilities come about come down to speculation, which is a feature of modern CPUs designed to extract a lot of performance. Now, a modern CPU, if you come to a branch in the code where the direction could either be A, B, C, D, or what have you, the core will try and predict and speculate exactly what result you want to take before it actually finds the result that it actually is. So if you had the choice of A or B, uh, the processor will speculate for both A and B at the same time, and then when it gets the answers to whether you wanted A or B, it will destroy the one it doesn't need and keep the one it needs. And the idea is that over time, uh, this speculation will be able to determine exactly what you want before you need it. And this is especially good if you're, say, reading memory on a loop and you know the inputs are the same every single time or you have a regular access pattern, or you're doing some strong math, or even say like a web workload. Web workloads can be predicted during branches and it speeds modern processors up. Now, the problem with uh, this speculative execution is that during the speculation, you're dealing with data that may not be relevant to what you're computing. If you have that choice between A or B, and the path that you go down A is the one you want, B might end up fetching data from areas of memory that it's not meant to. And some of this might be private information, some of this may be secure and encrypted information. And depending on how your information is laid out on the system, uh, an attacker could come in in some ways to try and read that speculative data before it's destroyed. And this is essentially what Spectre's been all about these past couple of years. Different, lots of different variants and they all do things slightly different ways but speculation, despite the big performance increases, has really been neutered uh, due to these security vulnerabilities. And this week, we have a new security vulnerability uh, that's present on AMD Zen 3 processors. Now, the paper that came out was kind of like a preemptive from AMD and their security researchers that they're working with to say, hey, look, we recognize that this may be a potential vulnerability. We haven't seen code that exploits it yet. But here's what it is, here's the kind of thing that it does, but we in general don't recommend you disable it because we don't think it's a suitable enough attack vector. But it still exists, and it still has the potential to be exploited. Uh, what AMD didn't answer in this paper is, to, is the extent to which it could be exploited you know, for criminal activity, say. So, so Zen 3 has this new predictive store forwarding feature. Um, called PSF for short, and it does store to load forwarding, and it's a predictive element in that feature set. When you're taking in uh, data from memory uh, in a loop and you're running through a regular instruction set, the PSF will predict what memory address you want to access next. And over time, it learns the nature of how you're accessing memory and brings in you know, a prediction during that store to load forwarding. And this is essentially where the vulnerability lies. AMD has identified two ways in which uh, this could be, could handle bad data. The first is if the addresses that you're reading become irregular. So say you have a, um, say you have an offset in your address loop reading and the offset is multiplied by an integer and suddenly that integer changes either through the thread itself doing it or through somebody, a different thread accessing that memory point if it's insecure, um, then that will cause the PSF to misspeculate into erroneous data, which could leak personal data. The second way that this could be exploited is through um, memory aliasing. This is where you have memory aligning with 64-bit byte boundaries. Um, and when you're dealing with a store to low forward with an offset 
that is non-aliased, then this is also being identified as a vulnerability. AMD doesn't think that this sort of attack is uh, that exploitable uh, because the context of your prediction is essentially pipeline flushed when there's a mispredict, when there's a context switch. Um, and by context switch, it means um, there are a number of registers in the system that determine you know, what thread you are, what state the processor is in, what memory you're accessing. And if any one of those little variables change, then it completely destroys that predict predictive stack, essentially. The way that this can attack can only occur in the same thread. So if you can't have another thread come in and attack something that's already running, you have to use a thread that's currently in use. Now, you might think that sounds a bit stupid, but um, if you've ever designed code and you've kind of double checked it to work like a simple function in a web app, then that web app is running in the same thread as your code. So you could use that code to violate what the web thread is actually doing. There is another limitation, and that's the, the store to load has to occur re reasonably close to each other. Um, AMD says that the only way to really exploit this feature is that you kind of have to do that in thread attack but then you also have to train the uh, PSF to predict wrong. Uh, and that's kind of the way to get to extract user data out of this. This is why AMD doesn't think it's that much of a security issue. Even though in the document they've actually suggested ways to disable the PSF feature, they say common users won't need to and they'll still be able to enjoy the benefits of the performance the feature brings. However, in environments uh, which need to be thread secure, um, between different threads, there are you know a couple of minor uh, flags registers that you can set to disable the feature. Um, Pharonix has already done some testing with this feature enabled and disabled, and they're seeing 0.4.5 percent performance difference between the two, so it's negligible at best. And really, uh, this fix is mainly for you know uh, confidential computing, cloud service providers. Uh, hyperscalers, that sort of thing. So common users don't need to worry. But if you are a sysadmin um, for one of the bigger companies or even some of the smaller cloud companies, this might be worth looking into. I'll put a link to the paper in the description below. So as I mentioned, this affects Zen 3 processors. That's Ryzen 5000. That's the Epic Milan 7003. Uh, previous AMD CPUs aren't affected by it. It seems to be an AMD specific feature, this one. So uh, Intel may suffer from something similar. I think one of the old Spectre ones kind of did this and that was just specific to Intel. So this is kind of like the AMD version. It's good that AMD is going ahead of the game and telling everybody about it. Um, responsible security disclosure is always a good thing. Uh, there are have been instances in the past where you know they've kind of sat on uh, issues with processes. Even the original Spectre meltdown uh, issues were kind of sat on for a year before they were publicly disclosed. So it's good that AMD is getting out ahead of this. But we're going to keep seeing these sorts of attacks for any sort of CPU that does any sort of speculation uh, in its code. If you put an if in your code, this is where it's going to go. If you're going to do a loop that accesses a memory address and the memory address increments every loop, this is what PSF was for. And this is the sort of thing that could be exploited. What do you think? Uh, are CPU engineers doing too many tricks that uh, affect the security of processors these days? Or do you enjoy the performance at any cost, even if it, that means the security of your data might be vulnerable? Imagine web services being 30% faster, but there's a 1 in 100 chance every year that your personal data might be stolen. Then that's like 10 years, 20 years of hardship potentially. So uh, definitely good that we know these things. Uh, there has to be a fine balance, obviously, between security and performance. Um, and I think we'll get there, but these speculative side channel attacks, they're not going away anytime soon. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. If you didn't like it, tell me what you didn't like about it. Uh, please give a subscribe, please give a follow. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Ian Cutris. And uh, yeah, what's your minimum specification? I want speed, but I do want security as well.